it's going to be pretty cutthroat. If you don't do a good job, there's plenty of other drivers out there that will. He's wasted! He's out! He's off the track! Oh. What are we doing here? It means everything. It's uh, why we compete. This is the biggest event that's ever happened in sim racing. It's quite an honour to represent this team. Double overtake! Bonnet House with a big set. If something just isn't quite to my liking, and it's kind of, I'm kind of struggling a bit with it, it can kind of throw you off a bit mid-race. I'm not one to be quiet about it afterwards, so I had to let them know what I thought about it. Oh! That's Graham Carroll round! You're not even in the top six and you're just driving people off the road. Start welling up. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a professional sim racer. Yeah, here comes James Baldwin. Sim racing is a load of gamers or drivers racing online on racing games. We do it at a very high level. We are the best in the world in, in that particular space. The Mercedes F1 Esports team is an extension on, of the Mercedes Formula One team. So in the same way Lewis and George fight for wins and championships in Formula One, we try to do the same in the virtual space. James Baldwin is the poster boy of sim racing and he leans into it beautifully well. He's an exceptionally talented driver. His best trait is adaptability. He is quick on everything. James Baldwin now crosses the line as well and he now sits himself on the top and that will certainly help at 2.14.8.09. A great statement here. I drive real cars as well. I've raced karts since I was the age of eight. I've raced British GT in 2020. I raced the Spa 24 hour last year. So I can sort of, yeah translate sim racing with the real life counterpart. So IEM Katowice is one of the biggest esports events on the calendar. Big stadium, loads of spectators watching it big, big esports tournaments being played in front of thousands of people. Right, how are you doing? How's Poland? Very well. Uh, colder than Scotland, but we're, we're here and ready to go anyway. ESL R1 is the series we're currently competing in, and it's on the new platform, new game called Rensport. This, this ESL R1 is probably the biggest thing in sim racing. Top sim races are here. If you want to be up the front and compete with them, you've got to sort of be dedicated to every day of life. We, we don't want to leave anything on the table. We really want to push as hard as possible every single hour on the game because you, you're learning something new. It means everything. It's uh, why we compete. We compete to win. I think it's been over the whole course of my career has got me to this point, you know, and to be with Mercedes at this, at this event. So, yeah, we're going to make the best of it. As I mentioned, it's a historical weekend with Rensport now in this space. The investment they put in is specifically for esports. How amazing is this? It's incredible. With the partnership already with ESL, just seven months after we had that start in Munich, and to have all these teams here, it's completely changed the landscape, and it's the start of an amazing journey. Let's meet the first 12 drivers for today's quarterfinal. For Mercedes, we've got ourselves Bono House. Yeah, so Bono, I mean, he's renowned as, you know, one of the best in, in sim racing. Bono, very, very fast sim racer, very consistent. Um, a tyre whisperer, he's um, good on the tyres. Like I say, very consistent and very, very quick driver, Bono. So I was at McLaren first, then I had the decision either to stay at McLaren or to move on to Mercedes for something bigger or better, or stay in my comfort zone at McLaren. It's not an easy decision, but looking back at it, definitely the right decision. I think we've really created a very nice environment here at Mercedes. We are trying to expand into more areas than only F1, which I think is my strength as well. I can do uh, all types of games, all types of cars, so if we can do that as a team, then that's something that really suits me. A rocket of an opening lap, we got them all clustering further back as 
as well. As they're now looking to rise up through a row of the Mercedes. Oh, well. Goodness me, Bonner Hoos spinning it, heading through the Camel Straight. And that car now will fall to the back. No damage at this point, but he can rejoin. But it's going to be oh, such a mountain to the climb. He's got down the inside, Jakub Brzezinski. Oh, oh but it's Wes Mercedes. They've gone for a spin. Payage is gone. And for the second consecutive race, drama again for the Mercedes team. Mercedes, the Autosport Virtual Driver of the Year is James Baldwin. Look at that. Baldwin around the outside, attacking with the race leaders. They head down the hill. The Williams car also working its way through. Wisniewski now into second place. Baldwin now sits in behind. James Baldwin for AMG Petronas. Mercedes finally getting a result for that team. Yeah, happy to get third in the race and get through. I mean, top six. Yeah, I could have got second maybe, but it doesn't matter. So, yeah, happy. So you and James are here to save the day. Mercedes. I'm hoping so, yeah, I'm hoping so. with the upper hand, I think, but no, still side by side. Incredible! Oh! What are we doing here, man? He went out a little bit too wide. He's gone for a spin. And Mercedes-wise, I think we have just one in this now. It was pretty emotional after the race. It wasn't even like in the, the top six to like be really fighting you properly. It's P7, we're both going out anyway. I'm not one to, to be quiet about it afterwards, so I had to let them know what I thought about it. Well done, mate. Good driver, mate. Hey, just drive me off the second ball, yeah. Graham Carroll is the most critical of himself a sim racer I probably have ever come across. Isn't happy unless he's going fast. Isn't happy unless he's progressing. I'm always kind of a bit fired up from having accidents on the track kind of thing. I think it's just in me sort of, even sort of when I raced in real life back in the day kind of thing. So sort of once I'm in that moment kind of thing and I get snapped out of it by a crash, it kind of... But the older and more mature I get, the less it comes out. So hopefully it gets a bit better. Semi-final race, all five lights are lit. And it is pedal to the metal, and it is go, 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 go. James Baldwin, sixth place right now. Who'd have, who'd have thought, who'd have thought that? Obviously where he was before, remember eighth place he was earlier. We do have an update, James Baldwin, five seconds slowdown due to causing a collision at turn one. I was on the inside, he didn't yield, and then we made some contact. Naturally, he's going to be the one forced out wide. He's on the outside, and then I've got a penalty for it. You just see the look on his face. He looks a little dejected. You could understand it, because currently, the way things are stacked right now, he will not be going into the final. Naturally, he'll have to wait until we go to Hockenheim ring tomorrow to return to the ring. It was pretty depressing. I mean, I, I got through to a semi-final, so I was, sort of, I was a little bit upbeat from that. Everyone else, understandably, was like just pretty uh, f***ed on. Ah, when my head hit the pillow last night, honestly, it was just going over the crash, going over the crash. Oh, what are we doing here, man? Eh? Couldn't get to sleep, I was getting angry with myself, thinking I could do other things. You know when something's that bad, you're actually like so chilled out? Uh, that's, that's what it was like. Welcome to IEM Katowice 2023 for the ESL R1 Round 2. A new track today, Hockenheim, and you blink and you miss it. You know, if you have nerves, it means you're alive. If you don't have nerves, then in this situation, I think something's wrong. Maybe it's, you don't quite want it enough or it doesn't mean anything to you. I only enter competitions to win them. You know, I'm not here to take part and make up the numbers. So yeah, we're here to win. We'll not stop until we're on that top step. Yeah, and here come the lights certainly here, folks, at Hockenheim Ring. It's going to be good. First light, second light, third light, fourth light, and the fifth light. And it's pedal to the metal, and it is go, 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 go. House, and now Morris Lerner, they're going to go three wide, because Buller House is on the scene. After a difficult race yesterday, but a double overtake as they make their way, heading out to that particular section X. To my surprise, they both left the inside open, so I got a really good run and went for it because I really didn't want to be P6. I thought I just have to go for this and try and get at least one of them. I ended up taking both. 
It's James Baldwin as well, but we'll be moving through to the semi should he stay like this. We've still got a long way to go. Seven laps remain here in this ESL R1 second round here at Hockenheim. The Mercedes trying to fight his way through. Hold on to that third spot. Yeah, you've got the 48 top sim races in the world. Uh, everyone's at a level that's so high that the margins are tiny. Into the fight too, James Baldwin. Like I said, you've got to take your chances, certainly here at Hockenheim. Like everything in life, sometimes it goes slightly well or not so well. Yesterday, everything was just, for whatever reason, going the wrong way. Mercedes wins, Mercedes! They've gone to... Everyone at Mercedes would have seen those results and, you know, been like, what the hell are you guys doing? But then you wake up today and you do everything exactly the same. I did the same processes, I, I prepped in the same way, I made sure I was in a good mental state of mind to perform, and it went well. I don't know why it's like that, it just, it's like anything in life really. So. But watch for the up and under, because of course Baldwin's going to go for it. It will be Yuri Tillman running alongside James Baldwin. It's a real tie up here through the final sector. We don't know what's going to happen here now. Yeah, well, pay it. So I tell you what, can he can sit? Can he continue the Mercedes rampant move into the semi-final? He goes defensive though, as we now see Gala looking to try to defend the position late on the brakes from the Mercedes now, as they round spins curve. The AMG now moves its way up into sixth place, and that will be qualification for the semi-final. Well, really good event. Atmosphere was off the, off the charts in terms of sim racing. I've never seen a, an event like it. I think we're on over 100 points. We're sixth or fifth in the standings. We're, I think I'm, I think I'm top 10 in the drivers' championship, which is really surprising. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Today confirmed that we were really good on pace. Maybe on paper our car was struggling a little bit relative to the competition, but we still managed to get two cars into the final, which is really positive. So. It's, it's been pretty mega. I know we had a, a bad day yesterday and a bit better today, but as a, as a whole, sort of the production, the drivers, the commentary, the hosts, I honestly think it's been really mega and it's, and it's really what sim racing needs. It's been a very long weekend. The, the format is quite exhausting. There's a lot of racing going on. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of action. I think it brings legitimacy to sim racing, which is something we, as sim racers, have always tried to strive for. I like the fact that we have that from the real world of racing, and then couple that with the actual esports series we're doing, which is so, well, it's ESL, you know, we're at Katowice here uh, in Poland. It's like, you know, 50% go through, 20 minute races. It's just so esportsy. To have that mixture is phenomenal. Uh, yeah, all to play for, a long season. You've got to be in the top 24 to get to the major which is ultimately what really matters. Plenty of people felt the pressure. I felt the pressure at various points. You know, there was so many people watching. Um, yeah, it was, I really enjoyed it though. Yeah, we're still in this. We're, we're well in the fight. <laughs>